Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Barbie. I have a family of six, live in Northern California. This is my Trader Joe's haul for the week. Um, this week, things were about the same as the past few weeks. The store looks back to normal. We are having to form in a line outside the store before coming in. They're not letting us bring any of our reusable bags in the store at Trader Joe's. Um, but other than that, I saw this week that the limits have been like, we can get more like the, I think eggs, you can get up to three or four dozen milk, you can get three gallons and so on. So that was nice to see. Um, we did, I went in the afternoon, I went with my brother and we were in line for almost half an hour to get in. So that was not fun because it's kind of gloomy and cold out here today. Um, but here we go. So I got a bag of popcorn, um, the herbs and spices. We love this popcorn. I think Yaya and I are the ones that eat the most out of this popcorn. It's one, it's one of our favorites that we get from Trader Joe's. Got some spicy crunch, um, cheese crunchies. These are like the hot Cheetos, gluten-free from Trader Joe's. Um, got some organic corn chips, dippers. Um, these are super yummy. And, you know, we eat them with, you know, pretty much anything. Um, and if you're new here, Yaya and I, uh, Yaya is my 19 year old daughter and myself, we're both gluten free. Um, so that's why a lot of the stuff that I buy is gluten free, but the rest of the family is not. So I buy, you know, it's a shared household, not a hundred percent gluten free. Got some white cheddar corn puffs. Um, thought I would get these as a treat for, you know, everybody pretty much because these are gluten free also, but I know Fernando likes them. I think Julie likes them also. So got actually got two bags of these. So I don't know where the other one is. I think we opened the other one already, but got two of these. Got some organic baby spinach, a can of green chilies for my pantry, some minced garlic because I was pretty much out already. Got one dozen because I have some eggs in the fridge and I've been going to Costco every two weeks. So next weekend I'll go to Costco and I have enough eggs to last me till I go to Costco. So um, I've never bought these eggs before. I usually buy the organic um, pasture raised eggs from Costco. And I think this were the ones that were more, um, you know, they were about the same as the ones I get from, from Costco and they looked pretty good. So... I'll have to see once I crack them to see how the yolk looks. Um, that's one of the things I like about the pasture raised eggs that the yolk is very vibrant in color. So got this. I got a whipped cream cheese for the kids so they can have with bagels. Um, I ended up stopping at Sprouts and we were in line there for about maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, because there was a few things I needed to get that I know they don't sell at Trader Joe's. So I've been on the hunt for the vegan um, sour cream since Yaya is dairy free, dairy free. Also, I am also, but I'm more, I kind of have some dairy here and there. It doesn't really bother me as much as it does her. Um, but she can't have it. She immediately goes, has a really bad stomach ache. Um, anyways, she's been out of the um, sour cream that she likes and I haven't been able to find it at any store. Target um, carries it and Sprouts and both of them are out but I did find this ranch dip so she told me to go ahead and get it for her. I called her and asked her and she said yeah she wanted to try it and um, I have been going out only once a week. I go and do all my shoppings. I do have to go to uh, multiple stores because that's just the way it is i don't have one store that carries everything so i usually go to target and trader joe's today i had to go to sprouts also because of that um got some baking powder because i'm almost out and we've been doing a lot of baking um i saw this and i wanted to try it out the er heirloom heirloom i don't know i think that's how you say it um popcorn with avocado oil and pink salt super clean ingredients um, if you hear noise in the background, everybody is out there playing cards right now. So that's the noise in the background. So this popcorn is popped in avocado oil and pink salt. That is it. So I wanted to try it. I've heard that this popcorn, I saw it on a video, that this popcorn, like it doesn't get in between your teeth. So I want to see if that's true. Um, and then this 
popcorn is super good also organic popcorn um popped in extra virgin olive oil it's just a popcorn um art olive oil and salt that is it super clean ingredients as well i got some jojos um the gluten-free for you know yaya and myself and these for the rest these are super super good better than oreos in my opinion got some orange juice 100 percent orange juice uh, not from concentrate super yummy orange juice and it's just orange juice which is great you know we'll either have a little bit of this for breakfast i know the kids do or we'll use it for smoothies a uh, head of lettuce because i have some tacos in the menu for next week some organic sugar plum tomatoes. I love to snack on these tomatoes. They're super good. Some organic cut and peeled carrots, baby carrots. Um, two bags of limes. Um, I continue to have uh, the juice of one lime every single day um, for extra vitamin C. Two bags of the teeny tiny avocados. These are super yummy. And if they're not ready to go, I just put them in the cabinet in the dark and they ripen up within a few days. Bananas. Um, we've been, I always buy a lot of bananas and whatever we don't, whatever, sorry guys, they're playing back there and making noise. Um, whatever we don't eat, if they ripen up a lot, I just freeze them for smoothies. Got one of these unfiltered apple juice. I love this because it's organic and it's just apples. That is it. No other ingredient. I needed some fruit and vegetable wash because I'm running low and especially now I've been, you know, paying extra attention into washing my produce when I, you know, before using it. And I wanted to see the ingredients in this is pretty clean. It's just coconut oil and grape seed, grapefruit seed extract, lemon orange extract. So it's all in water. So pretty good. I got some Colby Jack cheese for sandwiches, some navel oranges, um, because I still have some, but I'm, pr I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out before I go to Costco, and I usually eat two oranges a day. Got some of these plantain crisps. We call them tostones, where I'm from. We're from Nicaragua, and Diego loves these, so he asked me to get him some, so I got two. Four bags of the plantain chips, because I, I always get them, and I usually get three or four bags um some tj's organic kansas city style barbecue sauce first time i we're gonna try this for a hawaiian barbecue um chicken that i'm gonna be making this coming week um got some organic midnight moo like you know chocolate syrup um fernando wanted and julie wanted to make some um it's like a milkshake kind of thing or like a frappe in, um, recipe that they saw. So I bought that. Some gluten-free bagels. These um, bagels are super good. They don't, they don't even, you know, taste like they're gluten-free. They're super soft, very good. Um, a tub of the vanilla meringues that Diego loves so much. I always get some of these. And this I got at Sprouts also, and they were on sale for $6.99 and it brings 10. So I brought, I bought a cola and um, my favorite is the uh, cream soda. Nobody else likes cream soda, so this will last me a long time. Um, super good. And these are um, sweetened with stevia, so, and they have pretty, pretty good ingredients. You know, they still have natural flavors, but that's about the only ingredient that it's not, you know, good. And I was very happy to see distilled water at Sprout, so I got two gallons. This is the water that I use for my um, nasal rinses, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere else. So I was happy to see that, so I got two. And then um, two gallons of milk. This should last me until I go to Costco. One box of gluten-free waffles, some salsa, and some frozen stuff here. I got some asparagus. Yaya asked me to get her a bag of asparagus for her meal prep for this coming week. Some organic peas, some roasted corn. Um, they haven't had regular corn at Sprouts the last couple of weeks, so this was the only type of corn they had. I usually buy the organic super sweet corn, delicious, but they didn't have any, so I got this one. Um, some barbecue cut salmon for Yaya and two bags of broccoli florets and a tub of ice cream. I usually never buy ice cream, but then again, the kids asked me to get some ice creams for that um, 
recipe that they're gonna do that frappe and that is everything that i got at trader joe's and sprouts this week i have a very small target haul i will start on this side i have um one loaf of bread got some white bread because Mm, my brother was with me and this is the one that he picked he wanted white bread i don't eat bread you know well i do gluten-free but i don't eat this kind of bread and he's mostly the one that eats you know the kids don't really eat a lot of bread so he picked that up i know it's not the healthiest but the one that i would usually buy for them i they did not have it at target i got some plain bagels for the kids got a bag of doritos i know that the kids enjoy that so i went ahead and bought them a bag of doritos um, got two jars of paste picante mild sauce for my pantry since I didn't have any salsa in there and you know this can be something quick and easy that I can mix with some chicken in the slow cooker and make some salsa chicken. Um, these are buying these for the second time and these are so good. Yaya and I are obsessed with these crackers. This is our new favorite crackers. The good things gluten-free garden veggie. They remind me of like um like a pizza flavor like those um pizza flavor combos that you know that are like pretzel and then they have that filling in the middle that's what they remind me of they're super yummy so got two of those i got some little sponges for to wash dishes got um this little thing here i don't even know this is what a quart of milk this was the only lactose-free milk that I could find. I know I'm pretty much, I was 100% um, dairy-free before this whole thing started, you know, and I've been eating some cheese here and there. And the other day I had some cereal and I just want to have it for those moments where I want some cereal so that I can have some. I do not like um, my cereal with almond milk. I like almond milk for everything else, for my coffee, for my lattes, but not for cereal. So I got, I bought this just to keep in the fridge. Got two creamers, one in caramel, one in hazelnut. These are the almond milk ones. These are super, super yummy. Um, got one pack of lunch meat. This is my favorite, the natural Oscar Mayer. I always buy the turkey breast. And this is the only one that I have found that doesn't have carrageenan in it. Um, so to me, the ingredients are pretty clean, you know, um, compared to all the other lunch meats. So this is what I usually buy. I know there's other ones out there like the Applegate that's probably better, but it's just not feasible for me to pay $7 for a pack that's like half the size of this when I have a family of six. So this is what I usually get. Um, got some salsa. This salsa, I don't know if this is local to us, but it's super yummy. I know that it's, Sam's carries this um, in a two-pack, bigger containers. Casa Sanchez medium salsa roja is really good. I got some gum because I know the girls had asked for some gum. Julie and Yaya. So Julie likes the extra spearmint. So I got that. And I got Yaya Trident because I um, she likes spearmint and she also likes... Um, tropical so I bought one of each um, got some roasted red pepper it's a dip and I saw this brand on a channel the other day I was watching a haul and I saw it this hope I've never seen it before and I saw it today at Target and it's a dip and it's cashew and almond dip so I'm excited to try it and see if we like it got some ranch seasoning I decided to buy the big um, container because I usually I use that pretty often and I think price wise it's better to you know spend the money on the big container and just use it like that I got some barbecue sauce for my pantry because I didn't have any and if you hear noise in the background the family is playing cards so they're playing right in front of me um, got two two packs or little tubs of crystal light tea is what they like to drink so I got two of those um, got some Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. I love to clean the top of my stove with this and those spots where um, that maybe, you know, we scrub and not, it, just, it looks like it's not gonna come off. This will take it right off. So I like to use that and I was all out. So got that. I got some um, cotton rounds for, you know, I use them to apply my toner or to take makeup off, which is something I haven't been wearing on a regular basis since we've been at home and working from home. I really don't wear 
you know any makeup i'll only put some makeup on if i have a meeting or something where i have to be on camera um and i just put like the very very basic minimum you know makeup even then i got some body wash because i only have one in my closet and i usually like to have you know at least two as a backup so i went ahead and picked a pack and i found some french fries that i haven't found since we've been quarantined you know like i haven't seen these in, at the store in a month already so i went ahead and grabbed two bags but the kids have been eating a lot of like chicken wings and stuff like that that they cook in the air fryer so i went ahead and bought two and that is everything that i got at target so if you like grocery hauls subscribe to my channel um give me a big thumbs up and i will see you guys on my next video goodbye Hello.